What is up everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video. Today we're back in Planet Custer Day. I'm going to be showing you how to make some cool looking parking lots for your park. Uh, specifically, mostly for the scenario editor. If you have uh, different terrain uh, textures, you know, there's, di there's different ways to do it. But I'm going to recommend doing the uh, scenario editor. So we're going to do new scenario. We're going to do a custom biome. And we're just going to do Decidious, and we're going to go ahead and just uh, swap one of these out for some tarmac here. We're going we're gonna to go with the asphalt here. So there's different asphalts that you can do, but I recommend getting a couple different asphalts if you can. Um, so basically, we're going to do that, and maybe... Uh, for the purpose of this one, I'm just going to have a couple different ones. Um, if you're in a park, you probably don't want to do all these, but I'm going to do um, just more than one. Usually, I would say just just choose one asphalt, a few grass, and then maybe change a uh, couple other things up, and that's basically what it's going to do. So, I, mean, I suggest the scenario editor if you want to make uh, something a little more natural, say like you want your road to go somewhere rather than just have a parking lot. If you don't care about that and you just want a parking lot, then you don't have to worry about the scenario editor all that much, um, except um, if you want to have those textures. But there's going to be other ways to do it as well, and I'm going to explain on how all that works. So there's two different ways to do your parking lots. You can make it to where guests can walk through it um, if you want that. If you're not going to have guests walking through it, I suggest doing the way we're going to be doing today. So you can use pads to create your... Um, uh, the one way is to create path use your paths to create your parking lots and that is basically just going in here and you know using the grid to create your lots and everything that's only if you want uh, guests to walk through it now if you want to do something else and you're not gonna have your guests walk through it that's fine if you do want your guests to walk through it just use um, the path system you know that's that's gonna be my suggestion to you use that path system to your advantage and do that. So we're gonna get straight into it here. And basically what we're gonna to wanna to do, the first thing I always do usually is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna place down a car. Uh, it's just the car one. I always use just car one here. Uh, we're gonna get the wheels in there as well because it doesn't always have the wheels. You don't have to do the wheels if you don't want to right away. But I usually, when I later on add some cars to my parking lot, I will do this as well and I'm just gonna make this a whole entire scenery group uh, that way we have that and I'm gonna use this car again you don't have to add the wheels if you don't want to uh, but I'm gonna use this car just to as my size guy this is gonna be my uh, size so I know what um, uh, the the size uh, everything needs to be so all my sizes are, are great so this is not gonna require any theme makers toolkit items so just keep that in mind so if you don't have these th or toolkit items that's fine we're just gonna take um, our rectangle here extra large and we're gonna change it to white and we're going to rotate it to where we want turn on angle snap and basically what we're gonna do is have it to where it's just uh, barely over the ground here now you can use this so basically we're gonna do that now we might actually use large actually use large not extra large my bad large is what we want for the size of this lot spot so basically we're gonna place it on either side to where it makes sense about the size of actual one and then we'll rotate it and place it at the top here so basically you're gonna be left with this we're gonna be left with a this and this so that way uh, now we're gonna go ahead and Put these pieces into a scenery group by doing the multi select tool holding shift and selecting those so and then we'll just click this little add button this will put all your pieces into the same group that's way it makes it a little bit easier to build so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to hold shift and drag this across select it all control X use control X to do your multi um, uh, uh, do your uh, access tool and again planet coaster does sometimes like to do this to fix that uh if it's going not the correct way sometimes you go to settings here go to your game and then where it says averaged orientation and uh, advanced move experimental check mark that i wish there was a hot key to turn that on and off um, but there's not 
Um, it just kind of depends, like, yeah, it's going to not work for this. Sometimes it does work, but sometimes it doesn't. So we're going to go ahead and keep that off. And since I'm oriented with the world, um, I can go ahead and switch this to world axis. Uh, that way it will stay straightened because we are on the world axis. So, And we're just going to go ahead and copy this down a little bit here. And boom, we have some parking spaces getting started here. Um, and again, just keep copying and pasting. Uh, and we're going to get um, a good size lot here uh, started. So I'm going to go ahead and move this down a little bit. I probably should have started the other way, but that's all right. Um, this is just going to be a small lot uh, for the purpose of this tutorial. You can make it as large as you want. So as big as a lot that you want, you know, uh, you can do. So basically we are going to continue our lot down here we're going to do about as many spaces as we want until our little heart desires as far as our heart desires here and then once you get to the end here just copy the end piece uh, to the end here to finish it off so that's how you do that and then usually what i like to do is i copy everything but the end pieces here so don't copy those end pieces and basically what we're going to do is just make those over there and we're going to select everything and then hold control and drag over to the bottom pieces to where you just have the top piece and drag this. Oh, oh I guess I didn't have the other one des deselected. So let's drag that over. Hold control to deselect these bottom pieces because we don't want those. We just want the end piece and control X. Now, you might be wondering, Joe, why didn't you just like rotate it? and do that because I want to make sure my lines are nice and oriented correctly and um, staying exactly symmetrical with the other ones because sometimes they won't they'll be just slightly off and we don't want that so um, basically another thing we can do here to get another size comparison usually I like to make my lots big enough to have two cars going one way or the other in this situation so that's what we're gonna do there <clears throat> Once you get your lots started, it's very easy to just start doing a lot of copy and paste and stuff. I'm going to make it just a little bit wider, and we are going to be pretty good to go here. So that is that, and let's do this. So, um, all right, so that's in there. I'm going to go ahead and copy over another one. I'm going to keep some space here because I do want to do a little planter in between. You can do whatever you want, but I'm going to do some planters uh, in between my lots here. Um, again, you can do it however you want. And then once the more, the more places that you place, the more you can just copy and paste on over and we can always move and adjust those accordingly. So now we want to say place in some nice little planters here, uh, for something that's fairly easy. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to type in plants in oh, the scenery bar, not the, uh, building bar like I just messed up there. So let's go ahead and type plant and have it searching for all. You can see we do have these planter options uh, that are in game and we are going to go ahead and use some of these. So these ones, it, again, if you don't want to make do theme makers toolkit, this is a pretty good one to go to. I'm going to go ahead and lower it down a significant amount, though. I don't want it standing that tall personally, so we're just going to do that. And then I'm just going to do this as well. So basically, we're going to have that, and I'm going to go back to these guys, and I'm going to put that uh, the lots flush, nice and flush against this one um as well again it probably would have it might have been a good idea to actually just create one lot with this and then um, copy it over later so so basically uh we're gonna go ahead and copy this on down to the end Maybe speed it along by selecting more than a few here and that's gonna get us to the end here now, you might have a, a situation where it's not going to line up like it did over there. No issue. We're going to turn down the grid size here. And I'm going to put it about right there as close as I can. And then we can basically... What we can do is select everything here and deselect this. As long as I don't mess it up. It can be hard sometimes. Deselect, deselect... 
we're just going to deselect this and um, I'm just going to um, even this out right in the middle there so we're nice and even where we need to be that is uh, beautiful all right so going back to um, our planter here we're going to go back into the planters and just kind of use what they give us here so basically you'll see uh, I use a I do like to use some guides on like uh, basically on what I'm doing here so like I got right now I got a picture of a parking lot open um, to kind of guide me on what I'm going to build here so um, I just have an uh, get a basic idea of how this parking lot is going to shape out so um, I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to um, make sure it looks as close to that as possible so we're going to do like these little pieces at the end here, kind of like so. And that's how it's going to work on the end. So once we get one planter area done, it's literally just a matter of copying and pasting the rest of them wherever you want for your lot. So um, that's basically what we're going to be doing here. And then for a good measure, we're going to go ahead and put in some trees real quick. Um, you can choose whatever trees you want. Um, I, I usually try to try a few of them out of which ones I like to do just to make it nice pretty and get the uh, Get it across of what I what I want to make here So you can do like smaller trees larger trees, whatever whatever trees you like to use for this situation, so There's a lot of different options here to go with so let's just go ahead and go with this tree for now and I like to try and make it as symmetrical as possible. So I'm just going to place them. I'm just going to eyeball it here. I don't recommend eyeballing it if you can, but we're just going to eyeball these trees into place here. So I'm just going to have those there. And then basically you can add whatever you want here. You can add bushes, you can add flowers, whatever, whatever you think looks best. I'm just going to add some random bushes. Sometimes that um, is what I see a lot in these. You just see like random bushes. They don't necessarily look super, uh, you know, they don't look like they're um, symmetrical or anything. They just kind of have bushes kind of thrown in the mix in here throughout uh, these planters and stuff. And it looks, uh, it looks solid sometimes, you know, depending on how good they are. Again, you can spend a lot more time than I am right now on these planters and you'll again be copying and pasting them so take your time take your time to make it look how you want it to before you get too far um, and again before you start copying and pasting because we're gonna again we're gonna be copying and pasting we want to make sure we get everything we want uh, in here so we're gonna have these bushes in here just to fill it in again it might not look the greatest um, but we're just going to have the random bush method is what I'm calling this the random bush method. So you get like random bushes, throw them in there and um, call it a day, you know, because um, it's the easiest. You don't have to worry about keeping stuff symmetrical. You can just go in there and fill it in. That's basically what we're doing for this. And again, like I said, you don't have if you don't like the looks of mine, you can you can make it. Uh, the way you want to you know um, again I'm just trying to get ahead of my or head here so uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and use our lighting here you can do a couple different things you can use the end game one you can create a custom one which is what I would recommend if you have the time for but for the purpose of this tutorial and video we're just gonna use um, this guy right here this is just the uh, uh, regular street lamp um, that that's nice and we're just gonna go ahead and put this all the way down you can put as many as these as you want um, I try to remember not to or do my best not to overdo it so I'm gonna put these here and then maybe a couple in between just like that and we're gonna go ahead and do it to the other side as well and then that way you don't have to worry about lamps when uh, you do uh, uh, the rest of them so that way it will automatically get everything lit up again I wouldn't probably use these because um, they're in the way of the trees and such so I'd probably again just uh, that way and then you can you can test how much coverage you have for your uh, lamps at night kind of like that see that that'll be fine for right now 
So basically, that's what we're working with at the moment. So basically now, uh, I'm pretty happy with this planter for now, uh, even though it doesn't look great. I'd probably, if it was my own park and stuff, I'd spend a lot more time on the, the foliage and stuff and all that fun stuff. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to try, um, it's never sometimes a bad idea to have this off the, um, I just thought about this. You should probably have this a little bit off the, um, the, off of this so you don't have to have or don't have to worry about it uh, selecting accidentally selecting a uh, thing unwanted things I guess you could say um, so, or so now that we have this in place let's go ahead and place uh, one off to the side that way it's easier to select later on um, and everything so we might have to go uh, turn our grid size down that way we can keep it the way we want and basically we are just going to be copying and pasting this throughout our parking lots. Uh, but again, we do have to go back in here. Oh, that one I did not place. I placed in the air by accident. Whoopsie. All right. That's those ones. Now we want to go and select all these. make sure we are spaced out properly again i'd probably recommend doing it in a different way than i'm doing right now but you know sometimes i forget and do stuff the hard way that happens a lot to me so so basically we're going to do that and then before we do that this next one well um, let's go ahead and get this guy selected Sometimes as long as you're careful, you can you can select these fairly quick. Try not to select other things by accident. Cool, cool, cool. Try and make this as wide as I can. All right, well, let's go ahead and copy this over. Lower it down to where it should be, and I actually placed that one quite nicely, so sweet. All right, so basically this is what we have. Now, um, there's a couple of options you can do here, and basically I like to have a road that goes around the circle, so you can go, or just one road. You can have just one road as well and block off the ends if you want to, um, but usually I prefer to have a road that kind of drives around the entire lot so um basically what you can do is you can I, I, you can use paths for this part or wherever but basically what we're going to be doing is make sure we get our asphalt here intensity all the way up and we can start painting i'm going to start painting this in here that way we can get our asphalt in. Again, this is a lot easier than using pads. If you don't want guests walking through here, uh, if guests aren't gonna be walking through your parking lots, you don't have to worry about this. Uh, you don't have to worry about the, the pads. You can just paint them on in here. That's why I said, make sure you're in a scenario editor so you can edit the, um, the textures. Uh, or if you're in the city, I think if you use the city biome, you automatically do get a uh, uh, tarmac like this so or uh, asphalt rather whatever whatever the uh, correct terms are for that so um, again I'm not going to be doing too much on uh, showing you guys how to do um, um, connect this to your entrances or anything I'm mainly going to keep it to uh, uh, a minimum here of just getting this in so for the purposes of this video, we will, I'm just gonna make a road here. Okay, we're gonna make a, uh, using a path. This is gonna be our road that drives around and, and such like that, so. That rolls around here. This is gonna be, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? Yeah, so basically, let's go ahead I just figured out that we should probably do it more of a, a custom here, so. 
But uh, you can do like more um, planters around this on the outside as well. Once you get stuff to going, it's uh, very easy to like start to start like copying, copying and pasting stuff as well. So um, for the ends here, you can easily like uh, maybe get rid of. these here i go ahead and delete that and we're just going to ah, grid size is annoying sometimes that way it doesn't have that uh piece on the end there so we can actually we're gonna edit this corner here basically with our planter and uh that's what it comes to sometimes you just go in and you have you tweak a, a bunch of things you know and it just kind of comes down to that at some point. So maybe we'll just do this, this piece around here. Delete these. And it's as simple as that, you know, when you get your uh, lot going here. So let's... Do the same thing over here with the same pieces. Whoops, I didn't put that in the right spot. Best, uh, best to put it in the right spot. All right, so let's do that and delete these right here. Move this to our location we need to. Maybe delete that plant because it's in the way. And that way our end pieces um, can uh, be nice like that. Let's see if I can get a uh, road going on here. Again, um, you don't have to use pathway for this. You can create whatever, but I'm just gonna use, I'm just using this path to kind of get what I want here. Just to kind of make it look like there's a road going around. Like so. Boom. We can kind of, we'll get this, we'll get this. Sometimes it takes a couple tries to get the shaping you want. I'm just going to build this road around. That way I can build a road. Um, my goal is going to be to build a road that goes into the terrain that we can edit later. So we're going to build this road here. There we go. I'm going to go to rain and there's two different tarmacs, the city tarmac, uh, which is what I recommend. Is it, is it this one? The city tarmac right here. Oh, I, I actually do this one over the asphalt if you can, because it actually um, blends in with the uh, pathway a lot better. So we're going to go ahead and use this one. And the path kind of helps stop the, um, the texture. A little bit so uh, so it looks nice and perfect so we can start looking nice and perfect here so and we can do that and then you can like literally do something if you if you don't want if you want to you don't have to do this if you're not um, planning on doing much with your parking lots and you're just like doing whatever you know but we're gonna go ahead and um, make this go into like a tunnel that way it looks like it's connected to something um, again, this is just completely optional stuff that you don't even have to do. Um, so I'm just going to have to go into the terrain over here again. Uh, to do this, you have to be outside the park boundary, or if you're in a scenario editor, you can you can do this. However, but but you do have to be in that scenario editor. So we're going to go ahead and build this up, and it will automatically form around the path or the road rather in this case that we have here. 
turn down the intensity for smoothing purposes. For, um, you can go ahead and smooth this all out, uh, do whatever you want. You can may even make like a, a nice tunnel here. Um, if you want to build like a, a tunnel with walls and stuff, or you don't have to, it doesn't really matter. It's all your preference. And then that way it looks like there's a road that goes around there. And then um, at this point, you can probably just start placing a few cars in here, changing the colors of the cars um, and, your, and your spaces, and it's going to be coming down to that. So another thing you can do if you want to add a little bit more uh, detail to your parking lots, you can very well stop right here if you want to. But I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more detail for you guys so you guys can see. Uh, basically what we want to do now is I'm going to add a couple of arrows um, for this. So we're going to go with the extra small arrow and change the color to white. Mm, like that. And then we're going to go with a rectangle... Another white ring rectangle as well. That's going to blend in with this. Uh, let's do extra small for the purposes of this. And then you can do that. Let's go ahead and add it to our scenery group here so they're all in the same group. And then I'm going to copy it, rotate it completely around. Make sure they're nice and centered. I'm going to use world axis so, uh, for that. And then we can like do that. Copy them all to our roads here. To our... Uh, or is it, no, I put that one a little bit further than the other one. That's okay. We can easily fix that. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that real quick. But these arrows just add a little bit of uh, that little extra detail. And then if you want, you can make this a one-way street or, uh, like I said, you could probably do like a smaller road too if you wanted to. But this is definitely uh, two lanes at least. Um, so we could do, um, you could do yellow lines to make it look like it's a, a road that goes around. Or you can keep it blank and just, uh, uh, if you want. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to keep it blank. Uh, for now, so <clears throat> and then if you want to add a little bit more to the outside of your parking lot um, You can do that. It's very easily done. Say if I just want to uh, um, So we're gonna continue with this planter for instance And say I just want to add some planters right outside the road here Let's go ahead and turn our grid size down so I can get this perfectly centered as best as I can And place this properly, hopefully. Make sure we're in the height that I need to be. Like so. And then you can do whatever you want to with it, of course. Like, you can make it go all the way down or um, do whatever you want. Again, um, if I were you, I'd probably spend, again, more time on the uh, bushes and plants and flowers. Whatever you want to do with it. <clears throat> Personally, that's what I would definitely do. But we can like put a end piece on the ends here. Just fill it in with some quick bushes uh, or something, kind of like so. And then I can easily copy this to the other side if I want to. Oh, it moved the second I moved it over, it moved. Which is alright, so. Is that symmetrical? Looks symmetrical, so. <laughs> but yeah, and then, um, all you gotta do after that point is make like a, if you wanna connect it with like a guest walkway or something, um, just go like maybe select off the grid here, and uh, make like a separate walkway, of course, and do something like this. Connect that with your guest spawner, 
And this could be like the walkway up to your entrance or something like that, you know? <clears throat> you can do something along the lines of that and add some scenery around it uh, just to kind of finish it off and make it look nice and pretty. But uh, again, I'd probably spend more time again uh, instead of just throwing bushes everywhere um, like I did just for the purposes. Again, I just did that real quick so uh, this video wouldn't be too long. Otherwise, we'd be here for ages trying to figure this out. I mean, we're already looking at 30 minutes long, but yeah. Um, that's basically uh, how I kind of go about with some parking lots and this is just like a simple parking lot you know and then if you want to make like a large parking lot for your park you can just do uh, uh, make more lots and stuff um, this is all saved so you can literally go here and uh, copy it and uh, say if you want to do a lot right next to a door to it you know just create multiple lots uh, you can do that or if you want to get really creative, you can also like rotate it and have a couple uh, lots in different locations, or you can make different style looking lots and uh, just blend them in. Or you can just stick with one small lot or two and uh, move on with your day. Some people just want to do a simple lot that uh, is just there to be there. You know, it doesn't have to be crazy. But um, as for besides the uh, the random bushes i think this turned out pretty good um so uh that's gonna about do it i hope this kind of helps with your parking lot building skills um for this and again just add some more scenery around it like these little e edges here where your cars turn around and stuff like that just add some like curbs here or something and um just add some more trees around and uh you'll you'll be pretty good there and you can decorate your uh, walkway however you want as well but this is just how to make your parking lots um not <laughs> scenery around them so um basically i just want to show you how to make uh, a standard lot you know for um for this again i probably if it was me if i had some extra time i probably would have spent a little more time on this but um but i think it turned out okay for what it is and uh if you go to nighttime here we can even see that it lights up a little bit um except for over here because i guess we didn't get the uh lights uh copied over of course of course but that's an easy fix uh but um like i said i always recommend build your um planter first um again and then copy it over um and uh it's probably a better idea actually if you're if you're going for this style build the planter first and then probably do your um um parking spaces as well um don't <laughs> don't go by me i guess uh, is what i'm trying to say it's always handy to build stuff off to the side and being able to copy it easier or you can make it on a separate building uh apart from your lot so you can make like a lot uh uh your parking space is separate from your planters uh if you really wanted to do it that way as well but that's going to do it. I hope you guys learned something today. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more amazing content like this. And if you want to see any more tutorials, please leave your suggestions down below. I'm always open to um, trying to figure out some more tutorials for you guys. And a lot of people think I'm pretty good at parking lots, I suppose. So um, that's going to about do it. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll try and get back to you. But have a great day. And even cool tomorrow. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. And goodbye.